Yep. We're doing it. What's up guys, it's Jacob here. We're back for another reaction video. We're back for another rugby player reacts to an American football player video. Today's video is a player that I've not reacted to. And I'm pretty surprised, unless he came, he was probably on the top 100 players of 2019. I just can't remember him. I, I've seen him. In fact, this one, this top 100 series has been really interesting for the fact that, you know, if we scroll down here and read, uh, NFL Films collected 970 ballots and interviewed 132 players. Now, you can guarantee that not all 132 players that were interviewed are actually going to get their parts on a particular video. But one guy who has been consistently throughout this series is Chandler Jones. So as far as what I know about him as a player, I don't know fuck all. But as far as his vocabulary, as far as how he speaks, I like it. I do. <laughs> and so also, as a massive UFC fan myself, um, and a, a John Jones fan, you know, regardless of uh, his off-field antics, or his out-of-octagon antics, um, I believe he is a champion. I believe he's certainly got that champion mindset. And I feel like having the same genetics, Chandler Jones is probably going to be cut from the, the same cloth, so to speak. So before we do get into this, I am going to look up his stats. I want to know just how big, just how fast, and just how strong he is. And once we've done that, we're going to watch this video. So let's go. I've been waiting and wondering, where is Chandler Jones going to come up? Well, are they just using him as a great interview? I couldn't be sure. He's 30 years of age. He's six foot five, so an inch taller than his brother. And he's 255 pounds. And, um, well, that's a fair few kgs more than his brother, too. Although, John Jones is moving from light heavyweight to heavyweight, so that's very interesting. He went the 21st pick in the first round of the 2012 draft. He came from Syracuse. He played for the Patriots from 2012 to 2015, which must mean he's a Super Bowl champ. Yes, he is. He's got one Super Bowl. He's got three Pro Bowl appearances, 15, 17, and 19. Got traded from the Patriots to the Cardinals in 2016. Apparently, he's currently injured. Played three years at Syracuse, 101 solo tackles from 32 games, 10 sacks, one interception for 32 yards. He's listed at six foot five and three eighths of an inch. So I'm going to call him six foot six, 266 pounds, 487 for the 40 yard dash. Now that's moving for that size. 35 inches on the vertical, 10 foot on the broad jump, 22 reps on the bench. Jones was considered one of the best defensive end prospects for the 2012 draft and with that being said he went 21st overall. He was the highest selected player from Syracuse since defensive end Dwight Freeney in 2002. On May 23rd 2012 he signed a four year contract with the Patriots. On April 30th 2015 the Patriots picked up the option on Jones's contract and in 2016 he was ranked 48th on this very list. What the fuck? Six days before the Patriots took on the Kansas City Chiefs, Jones was hospitalized after he showed after showing up at the Foxborough Public Safety Building in a disoriented but cooperative state. Later reports indicated that he had experienced a bad reaction to synthetic marijuana, or K2, they call it, a legal drug under Massachusetts law. Jones would still play in the following divisional playoff game against the Kansas City Chiefs, which is fucking surprising. So 2016. He started all 16 games for the Cardinals after getting traded. So it doesn't actually say that he got traded, but he did go to the Cardinals in 2016. He got ranked 85th on the top 100 players of 2017. In 2017, on February 27th, the Cardinals placed the non... Actually, that was his birthday, was it? It was his birthday. So February 27th, 2017, his 27th birthday, they placed the non-exclusive franchise tag on Jones. On March 10th, two weeks later, he signed a five-year, $82.5 million contract extension with the Cardinals. On December 19th, later that year, he was named to his second Pro Bowl. He finished the season leading the league with 17 sacks, which set a new Cardinals franchise record. He was ranked 28th by his fellow players on the top 100 players of 2018. 2018, he led the team in sacks with 13. I don't think he was on the list last year for some reason. Some weird reason. But what I do know is that I did react to him in 2018. And with that being said, it's probably about time we do another one. He's certainly a veteran. He's played 124 games, guys. He's currently injured, unfortunately, 
He suffered a, to a torn bicep in week five of the 2020 season and was placed on injured reserve on October 15th, which was two months ago. A torn bicep, that's not gonna be easy to come back from. So 124 total games, 432 combined tackles, 300 of which are solo. He's got 97 sacks. He got 19 sacks last year. The year that we're referring to in this top 100 video. 19. Played 16 games, 53 combined tackles, 19 sacks, 8, eight forced fumbles, which is, the, which is double his, his previous best, 5 passes deflected. No wonder he is number 15 on the list. No wonder. And at the size he is, that's a scary prospect. All right. Top 100. I voted, you know, but uh, I don't know. They, I feel like they did a, a lot of the Cardinals players wrong, especially like Chandler. Um, well, Chandler was here yesterday. What did he say? You got, you got some hard hitting questions for me? Am I talking to you? Are you guys going to talk about how I didn't make the list last year? Oh shit, see? What happened, bro? He's still got 13 sacks. How did he not make the list last year? That's my question. I was absolutely and utterly confused. I couldn't find his listing. What happened? Oh yeah, this play right here, I started uh, stemming around before the snap. And Hang on. Why did Chandler don't? Why did Chandler Jones not make the top 100 players of 2019? Cardinals Chandler Jones left off the NFL's top 100 players list. The Arizona Cardinals had a miserable season last year finishing with a record of 3 and 13, but one player who did play well for the Cardinals was outside linebacker Chandler Jones. Despite playing well last season, he was left off the top 100 players list. Um, before 2019, Jones had made the previous three top 100 lists, all as a member of the Cardinals. In the 2018 rankings, he was listed at 28. Falling off the list completely after previously being in the top 30 comes as a surprise, especially when comparing his numbers to other players around the league. That is a surprise. I think that's just... I think people must have forgotten about him. As sad as that is, because I love you, mate, I think they just forgot about you. What I was trying to do was get him. But they didn't this year. I'm gonna set me out and jump set me. I tried to get close to him so he can jump me. Did exactly what I wanted him to do. And I just jumped back inside, slipped inside it. Sack force fumble. I was setting him up. I wanted to jump around and get right in front of him, right before a snap, so he thought he was close enough to jump me. Chandler Jones using the Jedi mind trick. Right when he jumped me, came under me. Sack fumble. Got inside two guys there. Look at this. Jump around, jump around, jump around. Jump around, jump around, jump around. Inside that guy. Sees this guy. Acts as if he's going to go around the outside, but no. Right when he jumped me. Came underneath. Mm. Came underneath, smashed the quarterback. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, baby. Great job. Chandler Jones is always going to be uh, an elite pass rusher. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Bro, how the f? How did he not make that list the year before? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Surely that happened the year before. Surely. Chandler Jones is an alien. Chandler Jones, one of the most underrated players in football. While Chandler Jones might not be a household name, he's made himself at home in the NFC West. I'm trying to watch Chandler Jones. <laughs> I want him tight enough to be able to cut off Chandler Jones. But Chandler just kept at it right there. He's so talented, right? He's got all the kung fu moves. Chandler Jones. Just lined up and ripped his man. Taylor Jones. Nice. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> That's what his brother does in the UFC. Joining the Cardinals in 2016, Jones leads the NFL with 60 sacks and is tied for the league lead with 17 forced fumbles. Wilson sacked by Taylor Jones. The ball is out. New York Giants. Uh, they put a tight end on me. Taylor Jones. A lot of people don't talk about Chandler Jones, but he was a force when we played him this year. I remember I came out of my set, I had him locked on, I was on. I'm thinking I'm in good position. 
Nah, he just, he just, he literally threw me off and made the play. Looking to set up a screen to the left. He set the ball and chopped oh. by Chandler Jones. Literally took the ball from Daniel Jones and got the ball back for our team. Chandler Jones with another strip sack. If I beat the guy that's blocking me, I'm not trying to just take the quarterback down. I don't care about taking the quarterback down. He wants the ball. Let's get the ball. Fuck he yeah. Was, he was a force that whole game. Third sack today for Chandler Jones. There's a lot of guys in this league that have these tools but don't really use them. This guy knows nice tackle. Look at that. Drives the shoulder in on Barkley. One of the most devastating running backs right now. Exactly what he has and he uses it very well. Chandler Jones gets another one. Four sacks in the game. Who for number one? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Worthy pick? Of course. Chandler Jones is number one. And I tend to believe you. I tend to believe that you're one of the best on the defensive side of the ball. A sack machine, you could say. And so far this year, like we said, he's injured. He's only played five games. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he comes back. Chandler, I'm hoping he comes back before the end of the season. Chandler Jones bicep injury. Ah, oh, he's out for the season. Requires surgery. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see, but we've got none other than Tom Brady, the GOAT. He's listed with the Buccaneers, although this video is going to cover him with the Patriots. I've got a Tom Brady jersey. I'm going to go and get it. I'm going to go and chuck it on. I've actually got a, a Lamar Jackson one too, and he's still yet to come. We've got Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray. We've had Aaron Rodgers. Cam Newton? No. Drew Brees? It's got to be another one. There has to be another one in there. Russell Wilson? Fuck me dead. How many quarterbacks are we going to have in the top 10? All will be revealed. That's all I can say. Thanks for watching, guys. We've got 14 more players to go. And I ain't stopping until we're done. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you've liked it. And peace out.